Good afternoon, my name is Karen Shannon, and today I'm going to demonstrate Epicor Dashboard Row Rules on behalf of Coda Bears Incorporated. So many of you may be familiar with business activity queries and dashboards, but did you know you can jazz up your dashboards using row rules to show colors and images? These options have been around in many versions of Epicor. Today I'll show the options in Epicor 10 to 500. So these are the general topics that I'll cover today. The following slides will give more detail about each topic. I will be covering how to open and copy a system dashboard or create a dashboard from scratch, um, determine which grids you would like row rules on, inserting one or more row rules to emphasize with colors and inserting one or more row rules to focus on with image columns. And then we'll show some more examples actually in Epicor. Um, these should help you get started on how to use dashboard row rules. Using row rules can help identify rows in grids that are out of the normal data regions or otherwise require focus. For example, you can highlight values above certain criteria, below certain criteria, or other conditional criteria. First, you'll start by opening and copying a system dashboard or creating a dashboard from scratch. Follow the path shown here or search for the dashboard menu item. To get started, you might want to search for and select the system dashboard that may have some grids with values that you want to highlight. For example, over or under or date values, etc. Use the file menu once you're in the dashboard developer um, to copy the dashboard. Give it a name, description, and caption. This will allow you to use a system dashboard and make changes to it to start getting familiar with row rules. <clears throat> the example grid I will demonstrate today is the on hand locations grid from a copy of the parts on hand dashboard. Before I make the row rules I want to remove the filter for the publish and subscribe option so I can see all the parts with on hand quantity here. Notice the lower left picture. I also want to make sure the part number is visible to see the on hand quantity per part number. Notice the lower right picture. And the results will be similar to what is shown in the top grid picture here. To start a row rule, you will right click on the grid in the tree view of the dashboard and then select properties. Move to the view rules tab and select the button shown here for the new view rule. That will open up the top half of the screen. Select which field you want to set criteria on from the drop down list and what condition you want to put on that particular field and a value from the drop down list or you can type in a value. And then once you're happy with your new view rule, click the right arrow on the top half to move it over to the right side. Then to set up your rule action, you'll select your row rule on the right hand side and then the row click the button for new rule action and there you can select a field to have your action shown on and a setting style that will be your action for that field and once you're happy with your your rule action again you can click the right arrow button to move it to the right hand side of the screen and when you're happy with the total rule, you can click your OK button and that will make your finalize your row rule and row action. You should then see the results in your grid. 
Here we can see the results of the row rule, highlighting the on-hand quantity in each row where the value is greater than 1,000. I've sorted by the on-hand quantity column to more easily show the results here. Using an image column to highlight values is pretty similar, but requires a few extra steps. First, you'll need to create an image column with a name, a caption, and a visible index. Zero is the first column. Leave the image name as none unless you want the image to show in all rows. Basically you are saying what will be the default in that column. You continue then by creating the row rule in a similar way you did for the color criteria rows. However, once you chose, choose the selected field in the rule action of the new column name you created, the last drop down box will change from setting styles to image name. Then you can choose an image to be shown in the column that you created when your criteria is met. Now this picture shows the results after we added the Easter egg image to the first column when the bin contains RCV, sorted by bin to better illustrate. You can use row rules for color and images to help you view your data in the way that gets your attention. So we're going to add a new rule action that will show any part bins where the bin number starts with A. So the first step is to right click on which grid we want this row rule in, which in this case is the on hand locations, and we click the properties. We'll go to the view rules tab and we'll add a new view rule. So we want the part bin bin number and we want to say it contains, actually that it starts with and we'll say the letter A. And we click the right arrow to move it over to the right hand side. And now that makes the rule action available because it's already highlighted. And we want to, in this case, say all fields. So we'll, our setting style is going to be across all the fields. And we want to put a warning in. So any part bin, bin number that starts with an A we want to sh show warning on all the fields. Warning is a yellow color. So if we say OK, this will happen right away. And here we can see the bin that starts with A has a yellow across all the fields. Next we'll do a new um, image rule. So we'll have an image named the warehouse and we'll put that in uh, index 1 and now we'll create a new view rule for that and we're going to want our warehouse code that contains an R. And we're going to add a new rule action and instead of selecting an existing field, we're going to select way at the bottom are our um, image columns that we set up. So we want the warehouse and then we can pick any image that we want to show for warehouse that starts with R. Let's let's pick the image for delete and these are all the images that come with Epicor and you can add your own images also. But let's pick the delete. So maybe you want to delete all the um, parts on hand that are in warehouse, any warehouse that contains an R. And if we say OK, now we can see the results in our warehouse column. So if it starts with R, it has the delete image. And if it does not, it doesn't have any image. So you can save your dashboard so your changes are saved.
So these were really only a couple of examples of how to use row rules, but you can get the idea of how to get started. Most often you will want to create your dashboards and row rules in a test environment and once things are working as expected, they can then be moved to the live environment. Thank you for your time today.